From a film distributor's POV, would you say that short films don't matter? They don't count? They, they do count. I mean, they're a resume builder, essentially. Because if you can't make a good short film, how you make a good feature? Like if your short film doesn't look good, then what? how are you going to persuade somebody that if it's your first feature, hey, this is going to look good? Um, they do count. However, I think today's things have changed. Um, it's, it's cheaper to shoot a film than it was. Because a lot of things are shot digital now versus back in the 90s and before everything was like film. So it was a lot more expensive. So making a short film back then was a lot more expensive. So now it's kind of like you can make a feature film for relatively cheap. I mean, you might not have the best like lighting or cinematography or something or the camera package or something but you can shoot relatively sh cheap so with that uh being in mind making a, a feature you know is it, that's kind of like i think a lot of people's calling cards now versus a short film used to be kind of like your way of building a, a big resume now it's kind of like well a feature film is cheaper to make so there are a lot of distributors and people are even in the business are expecting you to make a feature and have a body of work if you're asking for financing for another feature, they're expecting to see features, not so much shorts under your belt, but they do count, absolutely. I think so, yeah. How many shorts did you make before um, the Mason Brothers? Um, like four. Four, think, okay. Around. And when you were a little kid, were you were you filming stuff too? No. No, you weren't one of no, those kids no. that were taking things apart and you not know really. you always hear about that? No, okay. No, it wasn't until I got to LA is when I got you know, all into this, into the filmmaking and and everything really. Mm. Right, and so you had a, another course for yourself, but you decided to come out here and you had people that loved you back home that wanted you to stay, it sounds like. You yeah, know? yeah, of course. That, I mean, It's a huge leap. Yeah, it was a big move, big change, but mm -hmm. uh, it's what I wanted, so cool. I came out here and went after it. <laughs>